So today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about inverted and flat nipples. Just because you have a flat or inverted nipple does not mean you're going to struggle with breastfeeding. We do call it breast or chest feeding and not nipple feeding for that reason. As long as baby can get a good mouthful of your areola and breast or chest tissue, your baby really shouldn't have any problems latching. Although if you have an immature or premature baby, it can sometimes make latch more challenging. First, we wanna know though, do you actually really have a flat or inverted nipple? So you'll wanna do what's called a pinch test. If, you if your belly looks like, your uh, nipple looks like it's flat or like a belly button, what you can do is take your fingers and pinch along the side. If your nipple comes out and everts, or if when you're cold or stimulated, your nipple comes out, you don't have a truly flat or inverted nipple. It may be anatomically short, but it's not technically considered flat. If you do that same pinch test where you're pinching along the side and it doesn't come out, that's a flat nipple. And if you pinch along the sides of the nipple and it belly buttons in, like my breast model is doing right now, that is truly an inverted nipple. Inverted nipples, when you do have baby feed off of them for the first couple times can be super painful. That nipple tissue has never been exposed um, and has never really had anything suck or pull on it. And so what happens is that nipple tissue is can be stuck together um, like glue. And so as baby's feeding, it rips apart. It sounds painful and that's literally what it is. It rips apart the nipple tissue to bring it out to help um, get that nipple to come out. Um, so there's a couple products that are out on the market that can really help with a flat or inverted nipple. Now, best thing is just to try. Uh, nipple shields are one option, but there's other options on the market to be able to get your nipple to come out. The first is called a sepal cup. The sepal cup is literally just a tiny cup that sits on the nipple and you push in on it and it generates a suction and you leave it on your nipple between feedings or before feeding and it draws it out. If you've ever had cupping done, it's a similar concept. You're just trying to suction that tissue out. Um, people either love these or hate these. And really you have to have a certain size nipple to be able to do this. If you have a really large flat or inverted nipple, this will not work. This is usually better for your smaller nipples. So your 13, 15, 17, 19 millimeter nipples if you measure across the diameter of that nipple because it's actually a pretty small hole. Okay, this is the Haka version. It's just kind of a suction cup that you literally place on your nipple. You press in to release the air and it suctions it out. So again, some people find that they love these. You can start them in pregnancy to try to pull your nipples out and you would gradually wear them longer at each session. So the first time you would wear them for a minute or two, and then four or five minutes, and then up to 15 minutes or even longer um, to pull your nipple out. Now, one caution with this is it can bruise or damage your nipple. So if you're noticing that you're having any pain or damage, you'll wanna stop using the product. Um, but both of these are um, options. Now, the Haka is much smaller in diameter. It's difficult to see on the view, but the Haka one is for a much smaller nipple. At the base, it's much narrower than, than the supple cup. Um, or then there's some other no brand ones. Okay, so be cognizant, careful of which ones you're purchasing because diameter is different. Another option, this is by Lansano, is just a little mini um, hand pump. Okay, this looks kind of like the snot sucker if it has a long narrow tip on the end, but this just has a little bell tip on it. And so same concept, you put it on your nipple, you do some squeezes before, and this is gonna help plump up or evert that nipple prior to latching. So the supple cup or the nipple averter you leave on in your bra or under your shirt between feedings. You may need to put a breast shell over the top so that it doesn't get kicked off or rubbed off from your shirt or your bra. Um, and that one stays on the, the nipple to try to pull it out. And this one goes on right before and you would squeeze it to try to get that nipple to evert or come out just prior to latching. Um, for me personally, I like this option better than this because this is for a much smaller diameter nipple. You can have a more variety of sizes of nipple um, and you don't have as much risk of damage when you're manually controlling but know that those are options out there and there are some people that have um, experienced pulling their nipple completely out and then having a fully evert nipple by using something like a supple cup or a nipple averter. So those are my tips and strategies for when you have a flat or inverted nipple, now you know.